Hi there, I'm Elizabeth Holmes of the Wall Street Journal, and this is how you wear a smoky eye and a red lip. So when it comes to makeup, you're usually supposed to emphasize just one feature. But what if you can't choose between a smoky eye and a red lip? Well, you don't necessarily have to as long as you've got the right technique. Just look at Christina Aguilera and Sofia Vergara. To give us the step-by-step -step on this bold look, we're turning to Dior celebrity makeup artist, Ricky Wilson. Hi, Ricky. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So I was always taught that you sort of pick one or the other, but I'm right. really excited to try both at once. Yeah. yeah. Let's put some smoky eyes on and red lips. <laughs> you know, it's, it's definitely pulling from a classic era and modernizing it. So you're seeing a ton on the red carpet. So let's get started. So one thing I wanna make sure that I convey when it comes to smoky eye is that a smoky eye doesn't necessarily have to be black or gray. Okay. It just describes the style and the application of makeup, which means a darker color around the eye with a, a decent amount of eyeliner. Got it, that's so, really helpful. Yeah, like no harsh lines. Okay. Everything's kind of diffused, blended, and smoky. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give you what's hot right now on the red carpet, which is this dramatic, smoky brown look. This is what I like to call the new neutral. It's really sexy, and you're seeing it a lot in the celebrity world. Never forget to highlight the inside corner of the eye. And what does that do? It adds an instant snap and a pop to the eyes. And when you're wearing a smoky eye, this pop in the inner corner actually prevents your eyes from looking like they're drowning in eyeshadow. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Nobody wants that. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do is mix a few of these neutrals okay. together. We're going to tap off the excess. This prevents you from having a lot of fallout in the shadow. And we're just going to massage this color. I like to say rock it in the socket. So we are going to rock this back and forth and just blend it really nicely. The more you go back and forth without removing the brush from the face, uh, the more airbrush you're gonna get when it comes to the eye makeup. I think that a lot of women just kinda go like that, and that's like sweeping the eyeshadow, and it ends up all on your cheeks and underneath your eyes, and especially if you're doing something more dramatic, you don't wanna have it end up all over the place, so just keep that in mind when you're applying it. You wanna sort of really work it in. Right. Okay. Let's see. Perfect. So the next thing we're going to do is create some depth. So um, it's all about layering when you're doing smoky. Okay. And uh, we're going to use a waterproof black liner. So what we're going to do is just take and make a really thick, kind of messy line. Anytime you're using a pencil, make sure that you understand that it's designed to be kind of moved around. And that's okay. what we're doing now. So after we've placed this big, thick, kind of messy line, I'm just taking my finger and moving it around. So this is diffusing that line and it's also giving us a base for our darker brown eyeshadow. That looks great already. <laughs> so one of the final steps that we're gonna do is to use our dark brown and tap off the excess. And we're gonna pop this right over what we just put down. And this is giving this really nice kind of warm chocolatey color. So what is it about a brown smoky eye that's different than what people expect of the black smoky eye? I think it's a little bit more modern when it comes to the look. Um, you see a lot of celebrities doing it. Okay. It looks great on everyone and it's natural but it's still dramatic. Yes. <laughs> and by placing this eyeshadow over the eyeliner, you don't have to touch it up. It's going to be on all night. So now we're gonna work underneath the eye to finish off the smoky look. Okay. So I'm gonna take that same eyeliner and I'm actually gonna go a little bit in the waterline, but I'm holding the pencil at a 45 degree angle. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give me the color in the waterline, but it's also gonna go underneath the eye a bit. And the next thing we're gonna do is take our deeper shadow and we are going to just kinda of go over what we did. So you just put it just very underneath the lashes there? Mm -hmm. okay. So we're almost finished. We actually just need to pop on some mascara and then we can move to lips. Any tricks for applying mascara? What I 
like to do when it comes to applying mascara is to only use the first half of the brush. Oh. I think that sometimes if I use the full brush, um, it can clump the lashes together. Oh, okay. So that's one of my little tricks. Holy moly. <laughs> so to finish this look, we're gonna go with our red lipstick, move it around, and then we're gonna put the lip liner on. Okay. And this is gonna prevent it from looking like a very pronounced lip. Okay. So the lipstick that we're gonna use, it's a really nice red. The lip liner that we're gonna use, however, it's more of a neutral color. So you see the contrast? Okay. This is gonna help to kind of bring it back a okay. little bit. So we're gonna start by putting the lipstick on with the brush. And just kind of move it in the bottom. Now, one thing I like to do is just have my client kind of smush their lips together. That's gonna press the lipstick into the lip mm -hmm. so that it wears a lot longer. There's a red out there for everyone. So if you have an olive skin tone or if you're a redhead, you want to look for a red that has a little bit more orange or a brick color. Okay. And if you are a neutral skin tone or you have like a little bit more of a pink undertone, you want to do a blue vase red. And this is like a classic kind of movie star red. So you're doing liner after, which I think most people use it right. for. And the reason that I'm doing it after is to have the lips look a lot less drawn on. Okay. And if you want my very top secret trick, yes. <laughs> um, to get the movie star or the magazine red lip, mm -hmm. you need to refine the edges. Okay. So after you put the lipstick on, take a wedge sponge with some concealer okay. on it and just go right at that line. So what that does is it gives you that picture-perfect, magazine-quality red that every woman wants. Yes. Okay. okay. So are you ready to see? I am. I want to see what you've done. <laughs> oh my gosh. That looks right. great. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Thank and I love you. you. <laughs> <laughs> For more tips, tricks, and the latest style news, keep it at youtube.com slash WSJ. You can find me on Twitter at eholmeswsj. I use a dotting tool. Okay, um, because let me see this. And where, where could you get this? So I'm a little nervous. What? I don't want to look <laughs> like I <laughs> went back to the 80s <laughs> right. or something, right? Yeah, like, it's bad 80s makeup.